Hi there, and welcome to Van Life Devotions. Thank you for joining with me today. Over the next eight weeks, we're going to go through each of the eight Beatitudes found in Matthew chapter 5. These incredible teachings are part of Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. Now, last week I gave an introduction and a background to give us context to this most famous sermon by our Lord. Let's look now at this first Beatitude found in Matthew chapter 5, verse 3. Jesus says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. This first beatitude many can relate to. This does not refer only to the materially poor. The poor in spirit are those who acknowledge their own helplessness and rely on God's power. Is this your situation right now? Is this maybe somebody else's situation that you know of. We must be careful not to think that this beatitude calls actual material poverty a good thing. Poverty is never a good thing. Jesus would never have called a blessed a state where people live in slums and have not enough to eat and where their health rots because conditions are all against it. That kind of poverty is the aim of Christians to remove. The poverty which is blessed is the poverty of spirit. When a person realises their own utter lack of resources to meet life and find their help and strength in God. Eugene Peterson in his The Message Translation puts verse 3 this way. You're blessed when you're at the end of your rope. With less of you, there is more of God and his rule. Now I want you to think of a rope. That rope represents your security and control. Most likely your hope as well. For most of your life situation, you have clung to that rope but you are starting to see that various parts of the rope is is slipping away, security control, until you get to what appears to be the very end of the rope. There's no rope left. You start frantically, frantically clutching in the air. It is then that you realize and accept that you have nothing left. You become poor in spirit. You have nothing else but God to cling to. Peter says, Give all your worries and cares to God, for he cares about you. When you have come to the end of your rope and realise your utter helplessness and put your whole trust in God, then Jesus says, you are blessed. Because Jesus says, theirs is the kingdom of God. Meaning that God will reign in your life when you become completely detached from the things that you think brings happiness and security, but you become completely attached to God, knowing that God alone can bring you help, hope and strength. Then you are Paul in spirit. Yours is the kingdom of God. His reign in your life. Would you please pray with me? Dear Father, Some are at the end of their rope. Please come and reign in their lives to the point that they know that they are blessed. O God, preserve us who travel. Surround us with your loving care. Protect us from every danger and bring us in safety to our journey's end. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.